Hello, everybody. Welcome to Persian with Parnas. It's a long time that I haven't posted any videos, and I think the reason is obvious. By the way, I hope you are doing great, and I hope you keep practicing Persian because when you're learning a language, it's very important to be hardworking and uh, to do practice as much as possible. If you pause learning a language, you definitely forget a lot of information about it. Okay, I just want to uh, give you a summary and a preview of what we talked about till now and start uh, learning some new points and lessons in Persian. The previous lesson was about uh, jobs and how we can introduce ourselves and tell what we do. What do we do? This the sentence the sentence is very simple. Uh, like here, you bring your name or your use a pronoun. Um, write the job, write the work you do, and use asked or mikona. It depends on. Uh, it depends on who you are talking about, yourself or somebody else. Just as an example, uh, man muallem hastam u pezesh ast shoma karmand hastit. You can see here we have a pronoun here, pronoun here, and pronoun here instead of. These two, we can bring a name instead of ourselves. We cannot bring bring our name uh, here. We write the job title here and use a verb that is usually asked or hast. Let me make it bigger so we can. Man muallem hastam u. Pezeshk asked, Shoma Karmand hastit. And the verb is asked or another form of it hast. I will just uh, read this part uh, very fast. Hop, Ahadi, Shoma Koja Karmikonit. To be Maristan Karmikonam, Man Dukturam, Shogle Shoma Chie, Man Karmandam. تو بانک دی کار میکنم شما و همسرتون همکار هستید نه ما همکار نیستیم من معلم هستم شما کجا کار میکنید من توی مدرسه ابتدایی درس میدم there is a cultural point here you should consider it uh, well it's usual in iran at least uh, that you talk about your job your career or things that might be counted personal in other countries uh, so if somebody asks you about what about your job about your work um, please don't get offended and feel free to ask others if you are kind of curious about their job the other point you should know is about uh, the working place, working areas. Uh, well, you will learn some some words here. Pezeshka dar jayekhali kar mikonan. Jayekhali means blank. Bimaristan hospital, edare office, Danishka university. Definitely physicians or doctors. Work at hospital. Oshpazha dar Danishka restaurant matab kar mikonand. Chefs work uh, at university restaurants or um, matab means um, physician's office. Yeah. Surely chef a chef work in a restaurant. Kargarha dar karhane arayishka edare kar mikonand. 
workers work at a factory, um, a barber shop, an office. Surely they are working in a factory. Arayishgarha dar hotel, danishgah. Arayishgah kar mikonand. Barbers or hairdressers work in a hotel, university, barber shop. Surely barber shop. فروشنده ها در رستوران بیمارستان فروشگاه کار می کنند. Shopkeepers uh, work in a restaurant, hospital or store. خلبان ها در کی چند کجا کار می کنند. If you want to ask a question, about where do pilots work, you can say خلبان ها در کجا ور کار می کنند. Okay, so you just learned some new words. Let me list them for you. The first group is works, jobs, مشاقل. That is an Arabic word and it is plural form of شغل and it's Persian uh, synonyms are karha, pishaha. If you if you say these words, it is completely understandable for for people, and they understand you. But they are not common. We usually use this word mashaqil or shogl, pezishk, ashpaz, karigar, arayishgar. فروشنده خلبان خلبان Okay, and about uh, working place, working areas متب متب بیمارستان بیمارستان آرایشگاه آرایشگاه کارخانه کارخانه اداره اداره مغازه مغازه فروشگاه فروشگاه It is like when you say مغازه it's like you have a small uh, you have a small retail market and when you tell فروشگاه it is a bigger place it might be something like Target, Meyer or whatever uh, yeah that's it this part of the video is about reading. I just want to read this um, text for you. You can then pause the video and write me in the comments that uh, what kind of activities the what kind of activities these people do, and then start again video and listen to the answers. Sina ran and the taxiest. او در خیابان کار می کند. به نظر او شغل رانندگی بسیار سخت است. رانندگی در سر و صدای خیابان او را بسیار خسته می کند. بعضی وقتا هم ترافیک شدید می شود. همچنین هر روز مسافران زیادی سوار ماشین او می شوند. بعضی از این مسافران بی ادب هستند. نام من آرش است. من آرایشگر هستم. و در آرایشگاه کار می کنم. من شغلم را دوست دارم. به نظرم شغل آرایشگری بسیار جالب است. من در شغلم تجربه زیادی دارم و می دانم هر کسی چه مدل موی را بیشتر دوست دارد. مثلا بیشتر جوانها موی بلند دوست دارند. همچنین من صحبت کردن با مشتری ها را دوست دارم. حامد و مهید میوه فروش هستند. آنها در میوه فروشی کار می کنند. این شغل برای آنها کمی خسته کننده است. آنها هر روز صبح باید میوه های جدید را مرتب در قفسه ها بچینند. همچنین مشتری های زیادی هر روز به مغازه آنها می آید. البته حامد و وحید از شغلشان بسیار راضی هستند چون درآمد آنها از میوه فروشی زیاد است. مجگان خاندار است. او کارهای خانه را انجام می دهد. به نظر او خانهداری وقتگیر است. 
او هر روز غذا میپزد و گردگیری می کند. همچنین او بعضی از روزها لباس ستون می کند و جارو برقی می کشد. البته مجگان دوستان زیادی دارد و با آنها به خرید می رود. Okay, about the answers. I can say the first photo the men's are taxi drivers. In the second photo the man is a barber. In the third floor uh, these two maybe brothers are working on a store that its focus is on uh, selling fruits and vegetables. And the fourth one is about a housewife. There is a very good practice here. You have some jobs, job title, and you have some activities. When you want to talk about a job and its duty, you should know some words. And here, reading this and practicing this exercise, you can learn some activities that every people in any job can do. راننده تاکسی میوه فروش آرایشگر خانهدار درست کردن ناهار و شام Which one of this make dinner and lunch داشتن مشتری های زیاد In which job you have some customer In the third one مدل موهای مختلف In which one you can style people people's hair ماشین ها و صدای زیاد In which one you can check some vehicles cars you can work with them and hear a lot of noises تمیز کردن خانه In which one you should clean the house And there are some other words relevant to the practice one, and you can learn them. Traffic, terafik. Removing your dust, gardgiri. Use, javanan. Amazing, interesting, jalib. Time consuming, vaqtgir. Customer. Musafir. Of course, this word means that a person who sits in a car and pay a taxi to bring her or him from one place to another. So maybe passenger would be a better translation. Khaste konande. Boring. Boring. Khaste konande. Hard. Difficult. Sacht. Satisfied, razi, razi. House chores, karhay khane, karhay khane. Shelves, qafase, shelf, qafase. Street, khiyaban, khiyaban. Barbershop, arayishgah, arayishgah. house home khane khane fruit and vegetable store miwe furushi miwe furushi customer mushtari mushtari just another point in iran when you want to style design your Uh, your hair, do your hair, you want to design your nail, you want to cut your hair, you want to dye your hair, whatever that is relevant to beauty, um, you have one word for it, arayishka. So it's not like that you do your hair in a different area that you cut your hair or you design your nail in a different area. No, all of them are in one place. And its name is Arayishka. Okay, so let's call, it the, let's call it a day. And I hope you do practice. Ask your question if you have any. And write me down some sentences about the jobs you know. 
their Persian board. And let me know what do you do if you feel comfortable with that, of course. Have a good time, take care, and don't forget to practice. Bye-bye.